In this video, we're going to talk about Canva logo design and really how to use Canva to design a whole lot of things like thumbnails for your YouTube channel, pictures for your Facebook posts or social media posts. Uh, you don't want to miss this one. Stick around. up everybody and welcome back to the channel thanks again for joining me and today I'm really excited to talk about um, a tool that I use every single day I use it for my YouTube channel I use it for my social media it's such a handy tool it's a free tool and that's canva.com so here I am right now in canva.com but before I dig into it as usual don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to make sure you're you don't miss any future episodes and if you find value in this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. But without, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in to canva.com. And I mean, there's, it's almost endless the possibilities that you could do here on Canva. It's, it's so easy to use, so user friendly. Um, so basically what you can do is you can just set up an account because uh, there is some paid features, you know, some ad, uh, some paid uh, images and things that you, you'd have to pay for. You can only access if you pay for it, but there is tons of free features as well. So you don't have to, you can create a free account. And as you can see here, like basically you can either type in a search. So, you know, you, you can do like a presentation, a Facebook post, and you can see here, you know, Instagram post, logo. And so we're going to go and, and, and actually, you know, we're going to do a logo here. And if you go, so there's also the option here of create your create a design. And then these are all obviously my, my designs. So you can see some of my YouTube video designs that I've done here. And so basically if you go into create, actually you can just expand this and go create design. Um, and it gives you a whole whack of different things you could do. So print with Canva. I mean, you can make posters, business cards, flyers, invitations. I mean, this just, it's such an amazing tool, such an amazing site. It's unbelievable. I still can't believe they even offer this for free. I mean, there's not even a, you know, a monthly membership you would think they would have, but nope. Um, but yeah, you can see here, social media. So there's a whole social media section, stories, Twitter posts, YouTube thumbnails, Facebook covers, Facebook stories. I mean, it just keeps going documents. So letters, uh, personal, so you can do photo collages, photo books, education, marketing. I mean, the list goes on here, advertising, Lots of really cool stuff. As I mentioned, we're going to do logo. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to go down to logo. And what's going to happen is because you've selected logo, it's automatically going to give you the perfect dimensions for a logo. So if you were to do, and that's why you kind of select a template. So if you were to do like a Facebook ad or a Facebook uh, post, it'll give you the perfect dimensions already for that Facebook post, which is super, super handy. So. Here we are. So if you look on the left hand side here, you're going to have a menu full of different things and I'll run through what those are in a second. But at this very, very top, we'll start with the top here. It says templates. So you can see that we're, you know, under templates, we've typed in logo and these are all just different templates that you can use and modify to make your logo. And I mean, there's tons of them. I mean, this is just a, you know, it's dividing them into very popular kind of uh, categories, basketball logos, beauty logos, soccer logos, games logos, DJ logos. Um, so for me, like, I mean, let's go with um, something I been kind of a theme that I've been sticking with, with on YouTube for my YouTube videos. Yeah, let's, let's go with the keto. This is the example I've been using a lot. Um, so if we go into, we're probably going to need to find like kind of a health or cafe logo DJ design. Let's see here. Let's just scroll through. And I'll, I'll skip forward if this takes me too long. So I'm going to probably go ahead and pick, um, let's go food and drink logo just because, I mean, it's kind of keto is, is related to food and drink. So I'm going to type into here. And now you can see all these really fun little logo examples for food and drink. I mean, you just literally, you just pick one that you like roughly. You can change everything on it. I mean, colors, fonts, doesn't matter. It's fully customizable. So, you know, you don't have to be like, super, you know, let's just select this one as an example. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be exactly the way it is. Um, if you see something here like this right here has got the uh, uh, Canva 
watermark kind of in behind it. That's probably because that's a paid image. You might have to pay to have that. Sometimes they're just like a, a dollar, super cheap. But uh, just for, for our sake here, let's pick another one that's not paid. I'm kind of looking for a really cool design. You know what? I'm, I'm a beer drinker, so I'm going to look at this brewery one here. I kind of like this brewery. Uh, so if you had like, a, let's say you had a brewery or you talk about beer or, or something on your, on your uh, YouTube or whatever your brand is, this is kind of a cool thing here. Right? And uh, so as you can see, like you can hover over this and everything is fully customizable. I can click on that and I can move that around if I want. It actually, if you see the little pink lines or purple lines there, it's just kind of telling you where you are centered. It's kind of just helping you line everything up perfectly. So let's say we use this and, you know, we decided we want to kind of change that little beer icon. I can go ahead and just hit, tap on that, hit delete. Um, and so the next thing on the menu here on the left side is photos. So you can go and you can search all through these photos and like I said, a lot of them are free. Some of them are going to be paid. You might have to pay a dollar. You might need a membership because there is a membership option. But, uh, you know, there's tons of logo uh, pictures here. You go down into elements. Elements is going to give you like, you know, different uh, charts, frames, stickers, you know, shapes that you can add, uh, gradients, lines. I mean, there's just, it's so many, there's so many different things. So here we go. Icons. Let's, let's look at the icons. And let's search up, let's search up beer icon. So let's go beer icon. Let's say we own a beer icon. I just wanted to change that beer mug image. And you can see here all the different beer mug images. So these ones here, you can see that they have a little dollar sign. It says premium beside it. So you need a premium membership to get that picture. But, you know, up here, these ones are all free. They say free, free, free. So let's say if I wanted to add, you know, this one's kind of fun. And oh, that one also has a watermark. Sorry, that's a premium one. So I'm not gonna, well, we'll just do it for now. So let's say I had a premium and I wanted to add this beer logo. And this is gonna be not a very nice logo, I apologize. But you know, it just, and it, as you can see, every time you click on each element up top here, you could change the top, you could change the color, crop, you can flip it, um, you can duplicate it on the right hand side here. Position, you can bring it forward or backwards if you're kind of layering different elements, which is pretty neat. And also they have kind of a transparency, so you can kind of make it semi-transparent as you can see there if you want. Um, so I'm gonna just, for fun, change this kind of to white. There you go. So if I wanted to have like that, you know, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, kind of center that a little better. But yeah, I mean, you just, it's super simple to use, drag and drop, you know, if I wanted to change the fonts here, I would just go ahead, click on the font. And then there's a whole list of different fonts I could use. You can play with that. I mean, you could spend hours on here. Um, if I wanted to add a different text, you know, they give you the options here for the heading, subheadings, and, you know, just a body of text. And then a bunch of examples of different kind of texts that you can use and drag and drop. So if I wanted to, like, you know, maybe get rid of this and add you know, this kind of text and uh, just randomly picking something, but, um, you know, and just kind of put, put this in here somehow. Oh, did I do, I think I hit it twice. That's why it's showing duplicated. I would probably see, you can edit the text way up here, color, bold, italic. So I want to center it, maybe bring the size down so I can change the size down to maybe like 72, maybe a little more even. 64. So yeah, you get the point. I mean, you could really just play around with it, with this and uh, get rid of this bottom text that came with it. Cause you can see there's different text that comes with that template. You can delete them if you don't want to use them. And let's say we go to uh, here and we make that text white and then I could change the text to whatever type it to it, whatever. So you can see it's just, you can totally customize this um, to what you want. If I just tap the whole image, this, this is going to change the background color so I can change it to maybe, you know, maybe a lighter gray if I want. Well, that's maybe too light, you know, something like that. Or I can go right to black. So, I mean, it's such a, such an easy tool to use. You can add backgrounds. So if you go to background tab here on the left side, there's a whole whack of different backgrounds you can add, uh, which is, you've probably seen some of these on my, um, 
well, this is not working probably because there is there you go so you know there's like different you've probably seen some of these on my uh youtube channel you could just change the backgrounds i mean there's tons of them there's pictures really so cool images that you could play with over here you can upload so you can upload different things to your channel I mean to your Canva so that you can add them, you know, like if you have an image you want to add of yourself. So this is an example of an image that I did that I made PNG that I post a lot on my YouTube. Um, and I could just add that and I could resize it, and move it around. Super cool. So yeah, that's basically canva.com. Super easy to use. I highly encourage you to go set up an account, try it out. It's so much fun to, to play around, create new things. You can really get your creative side out. And with that being said, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you uh, enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy all my videos. If you do, please subscribe, hit the bell icon. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next video. Bye for now.